Kind of like NBC News showing up at Jonestown. Now, you're drinking a glass of Kool-Aid right now. Tell people judge you. Why are you doing that? Because it's civilizational suicide, of course, that they're promoting. got overturned several weeks ago and there was a ton of coverage about it but what you didn't hear ever was anything but the merits of the court's decision they never talked about the legal aspect of a legal decision instead they moved from defending abortion to attacking fertility anyone who wants to i don't know have kids maybe thinks having a family is more important than working at citibank was the enemy just in case you're wondering if it's all corporate propaganda it is so you saw Elizabeth Warren and Gretchen Whitmer begin attacking crisis pregnancy centers. Like, what did they do wrong? Helping women in need? Not allowed! Then some media outlets went as far as encouraging women to sterilize themselves. It sounds like that's something we'd make up, but you couldn't make that up. Here's a recent segment from NBC News. The staggering number of women are now considering permanent sterilization procedures. Following the Supreme Court decision, Google searches for procedures like tube tying or tubal ligation surge. I traveled to Austin, Texas, where I spoke with three women about how the latest abortion restrictions affected their decision. I don't want any more. I'll be 27 in October, and I'm just done. You're done. I'm done. So are you for sure that sterilization is something that you want to do or just something you want to learn more about? I think it's for something for sure I want. So, Megan, you already had your tubes removed. Yes. And, Ashley, you're about to begin the procedure? Uh, yeah, I'm in the process of consultations. What was behind the timing of when you decided to have this procedure? After the draft decision was leaked, um, I decided to... Uh, schedule the procedure. I've always known I ha like didn't want children and I didn't want to be in a position where I didn't want children and would lack access to contraception as well. So like Megan, I have always known that I didn't want kids. Let's be honest. There's a lot of judgment around the decision to have this procedure, around this decision in general. Right. What do you say to people who don't understand. Sterilization or permanent contraception is just as permanent as choosing to have a child, right? So a lot of the arguments against it, like, well, what if you regret it? You could say the same thing about having a kid. It's kind of like NBC News showing up at Jonestown. Now you're drinking a glass of Kool-Aid right now. Tell people judge you. Why are you doing that? Because it's civilizational suicide, of course, that they're promoting. But at least they're out in the open about it now. Dana Lash is a nationally syndicated radio show host, and we're happy to have her join us tonight. So it turns out, Dana, if you have kids, it detracts from your loyalty to Amazon. So now corporate media are promoting sterilization just to make, I don't know, more obedient workers? Like, what is this? Yeah, this is this is wild. And Tucker, thanks for having me. You know, after watching that video clip, I actually don't know if I disagree with those women choosing that procedure for themselves. I mean, if they think that they would rather sterilize themselves than be responsible for choosing choice before they conceive, then maybe they should get sterilized. I mean, maybe they I mean, go out, then Republicans will go out and have more babies. How about that? I mean, I say it somewhat facetiously, but this is insane. But this is also, Tucker, the logic of people who think that somehow by delivering the power back to the people through the action of the states is a denial of right and or due process or exercise of right. So their logic doesn't make any sense to me. It's just so dark. I mean, children are hope for the future. They are hope embodied. I believe our civilization will continue. I believe my family is worth replicating. I believe my genes carry on through the generations. Like that's the whole point of life. And if you're right. doing what you can to prevent people from doing that or promoting this dark vision, like whose side are you on? No, sure. And I and I totally agree with you. I mean, I also have had children and there are a lot of good people out there who have had kids. But I, I mean, I, I'm not going to judge these people as to whether they're going to be competent parents or not. But I just no, think no, it's I'm the judging stupidest NBC stupidest News. things I've ever heard. They're, Oh, with NBC. Well, I mean, their their promotion of this, they're going to find a gullible audience. I mean, it just seems like it's irresponsible journalism for NBC to not go out and maybe showcase less invasive forms of, you know, preventing pregnancy. But the whole thing about this, too, is that media is continuing this Machiavellian 
trick, this grift that they have been pushing on women for so many years. They're isolating women in the act of, in, in the responsibility of co-creating life and allowing progressive men, that's usually who champions this, they, they, they're allowing them to sort of get themselves off the financial hook. It's just, it's a bizarre put down to women. And of course, NBC's promoting it. Hope they do the follow-up in 20 years. You're 50 now. You've ascended to number two at the HR department. Are you happy with your life? <laughs> Tell us about the meaning you're deriving. Will someone from HR hold They're your hand in hospice? It. Right. Oh, so. Dale Ash, great to see you tonight. Thank you.